sharpen the lawnmower blade, blade is going to be to take it off. But to do that, we're going to have to turn the thing upside down. So before you make the decision to do this, uh, run the thing out of gas and then uh, also mix in an oil change because you don't want to flip this thing upside down with the crankcase full of oil. It'll fill the combustion chamber and you're going to have all types of problems. So uh, drain all the oil out, flip it upside down, we'll do the blade sharpening, flip it back once we reinstall the blade, then we'll put the oil back in it and we'll be good to go. So the first thing we're going to do is we're going to remove the blade. We'll re remove the nut, <laughs> securing the blade. We'll take this over to our bench vise and get this edge worked out. So you can see right here that lawnmower blades have a chisel grind. What that means is they're flat on one side and then a bevel on this side. So that makes them really easy to sharpen. You can see right here, uh, Mrs. Wrangler Star loves to mow the lawn and she has put the herd on this thing. There's a lot of gouges in it and it's essentially a blunt instrument, even over here where there is no point at all. So we can uh, definitely improve upon this. You can use a, many different tools to do this. You can use a standard bench grinder. You can use a, a four inch um, grinder, four and a half inch, um, like this. Or what I like to, to use, uh, one of the handiest tools in the shop, is a small 90 degree, I guess I call it a roll lock. I don't know uh, exactly what it's called, but it's, a, it's an ang pneumatic angle grinder. <laughs> And what's nice about it is if you get the right head for it, uh, these twist lock heads, they come in all different grits. So this is a coarse grit, and they just simply twist on there. Uh, there's a little thread on the back. And I keep a number of different uh, uh, pads. Uh, this is a, a scotch bright pad, a little bit bigger. It's really good for buffing and polishing. But the nice thing about this particular tool is it really gives you the ability uh, to do detailed work. The four inch grinder is a little gnarly, a little bit uh, hard to, to, to really uh, to move around. You don't have a lot of dexterity with it. But this you can see. is very easy to handle and uh, you can really uh, work the corners, get inside the tight edges and it's a, just a great little tool. So here you can see the finished edge flat grind on one side and uh, nice sharp edges. You don't want that to be too steep like a kitchen knife. You know, you want that angle to be pretty, pretty, a pretty uh, severe wedge. If you sh back that relief edge back too much, uh, it'll dull very quickly. So you want a nice strong edge right there. Here you can see in contrast the other side, which it just couldn't be worse. So let's get the other side sorted. So now we'll reinstall our newly sharpened blade. I like to use a Loctite on things that are real, spinning, you know, things that I really don't want to come off, especially on a lawnmower where I might have a uh, wife or, or uh, children using it. You just don't want that blade coming off for uh, obvious reasons. Loctite is a, um, a liquid that uh, it kind of uh, dries and really uh, uh, tight prevents the bolts from backing out. And there's two different types typically. There's for the most part, there's blue and there's red. Red is super lock, uh, very difficult to get unlocked. Uh, blue is for things that you uh, will routinely want to um, take on and off for, for maintenance. It, it doesn't hold near as tight uh, and it's easier to break free. On smaller, really delicate stuff like uh, screws on um, pivot points on knives or flashlights, I definitely want to prefer the blue. Um, something like this with a larger bolt, I'll go with the, with the red. And what you'll do, as you can see here, it's very uh, concentrated, just a couple drops on the threads. And when that dries, that will uh, be very reluctant to come out. Using impact wrenches are great, but it's hard to really tell how tight things are getting, so I always like to finish it off with a hand tool when I know, know uh, how tight the thing is. This engine is like most. When you change the oil, you simply uh, remove a drain plug on the bottom of the block or uh, just turn the mower over and drain the oil out the fill plug. And when you uh, just use standard 30 weight motor oil, for most engines, I believe, 
1040, whatever you have, I think it's fine. And then just fill it until it comes out of your fill plug. First cut here, chainsaw mill, and we're going to cut out the first 12 footer and we'll start doing all the notching and uh, hopefully I can keep after this and get this thing, get this thing put together by this fall.